Across this building is as simple as drag and drop. You have a visual canvas on the right and a number of different task types or building blocks over on the left. You have user-facing tasks as well as system-facing tasks. As soon as you establish what your process should be, you'll simply build by dragging and dropping. Here we have, in many cases, a form. Somebody fills out a form to initiate the request. We can call it, in this case, our initial form. And then we're just going to start building out the other steps in the process. You have the ability to set milestones or custom statuses. Something's in progress, something's been approved, something's been denied. Those different milestones or statuses are things you're going to report on and also communicate to the user. In this case, maybe we'll have new requests submitted and I'll establish that. After that, maybe there's an initial review. All right, we can bring over that review or approval task and say we have an initial review. I would just connect those together by bringing over the arrows. Once somebody submits a form, we're going to need to set a milestone. Then it's going to go to initial review. If it's under a user facing task like an approval or review, we would then say who is it going to? Who are the recipients? That could be a person, that could be a group, it could potentially be two or three different folks, just depending on how you want to set it up. You could have it go to Sally if it's one type of request, it could go to Ben if it's a different type of request, maybe Sue if it's a third type of request, and if it's a fourth type of request, maybe you need input or decisions from all of the above. So it's really just based on how you want to establish that or set it up. For any of these tasks that go out by default, the recipients are going to get an email notification. You can decide what information you want in that email. You can essentially make them as informative as you wish to. And then you can also set up reminders and timeouts. So if you want to set a threshold and say, this initial review needs to be completed in a day or two days, you can then say if something isn't done after two days, let's go ahead and send out an email reminder. You can also set up a second threshold where time's out. If this is out here for a week, we're going to go ahead and escalate it, or we're going to have some other action take place. I've filled out a few more steps where we have a loop going back. If we need more information upon that initial review, we can deny that request once the initial review or approval has been given. Maybe it goes to the VP for approval. You could have several levels for approvals as well. And then once approved, it goes through some sort of fulfillment process. We're kicking things off in parallel. We're gathering more information and perhaps updating a third party system. It's really just dependent on how you want your process to flow how you build out that assembly line through dragging and dropping those different task types.